All right, everybody. So in today's video, I'm going to explain how we can create a table using PHP MyAdmin. There's two ways to get here. You can either go to your XAMPP control panel, then press this admin button next to MySQL, or you can head to this URL. To create a table, let's go to our databases. We should have a database already created. In the last video, we created a database named BusinessDB, so let's click on it. Let's begin by creating a table name. I'll create a table of users. These will be registered users. Then set the number of columns. I'll stick with four. Then we will hit the Create button. In this column, we will set the name of each column. Our first column will be for user IDs. Let's name this column ID. We will set the data type to be int. We won't specify a length. If you would like a default value, you can set that here. We're going to use the ID field to be set to auto increment. You can set the characters, but we will keep that as the default. Like for some reason, if you need, I don't know, Greek, you can use Greek, but let's just use the default. To add an index, you can do that here. We will set our ID to be our primary index. Then I will click the go button. To enable auto increment on a column, you can check the AI button. It's for auto increment. That should be it for this column. Let's create a column for usernames. The column name will be user. For the data type, let's say var char, then set a max size. I think 25 is good. For our users, let's have each user be unique. Then press go. Then let's move on to the next column. This will be for passwords. For the data type, let's set that to be char, which is right here. I recommend hashing passwords. In our database, we won't be storing plain text passwords in case, you know, we get hacked or in case somebody uses SQL injection. We'll be storing a hash of a password. I'll set the size to be 255. Encrypting and hashing algorithms are always changing and updating. Let's future proof our password field just by setting it to something large. Then let's add a registration date. Maybe we'll name the column register underscore date. Let's select not just date, but date time. I want to know the time that they register. For the default, let's use a current timestamp. That should be good for our table. If you would like some SQL code, you can preview the SQL. This is what we would be writing. But we're going to be doing this automatically with PHP MyAdmin. So let's save. And we now have our table. If I were to go to Browse, this is our table, but there's currently no rows. We'll be adding some rows with PHP, but for testing purposes, let's insert one manually using PHP MyAdmin. So we will insert some test values. With our ID, it's set to auto increment. We don't necessarily need to put in a value. For the user, let's say the user is Spongebob. And for the password, his password will be pineapple1. You can also encrypt this password using password hash. We'll cover hashing passwords in the next video. With our registration date, this is set to a current timestamp, so that's going to be done automatically. Let's press go. This would be the SQL query. But yeah, one row has been inserted. Let's go back to our table. The username is Spongebob, password is pineapple1, and here is the registration date, well, date and time. Then to delete a row, you can click this delete button, then press OK. And that is how to create a table in PHP MyAdmin. And in the next topic, we will be inserting some rows into our table using PHP.